Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mike here. I haven't been doing videos recently, but I found some fun stuff to do with resin, so I thought I would share it. Now, I've seen a million and one ways how to make your own um, molds, and using nothing more than just 100% silicone. I got this one. It was about $4 a tube, so I picked up three tubes of that. Move that out of the way. Um, some Dawn dish soap. Now I've seen, uh, I tried it before with um, the green Dawn that has like antibacterial or whatever and it didn't dry. So I'm not sure if I did anything wrong but you can come with me on this adventure on seeing if I do this right. Now I've heard, um, we'll put that out of the way and what we're going to do is I got these at the dollar store. I don't know what's on them, some cardboard. I got these at the dollar store, little tops for I don't know, I think they were the dollar. Everything's a dollar, a dollar, there's dollar tree, not dollar general. So these were a buck. Um, the Dawn dish detergent was a dollar. Need a caulking gun for your caulk. And then now on a, a bunch of these videos, I've noticed that they, some people are saying use lukewarm water. Some people are saying use ice cold water. Um, you know, so I've got just regular tap water it's just room temperature so we'll see how that works and then I have this little guy this is nothing more than a 97 cent placemat now I figured I could use this instead of buying some really expensive um, silicone place you know the silicone baking sheets but this is it's super smooth so I don't see why it wouldn't work um, you know, it's got two sides, and of course I want the white side so I can see what I'm doing. So we'll use that to put our mold together. So first off, we're going to start, we're going to have to cut this. Um, you can use, I use a knife. If you're not comfortable with that, you can use a pair of scissors. I've got a pair of scissors here um, that doesn't work really good, but I'm just going to go ahead and use a knife. And I'm going to cut it pretty, la pretty large because I want it to come out pretty fast. I don't want to have to sit here and squeeze all day. So all I'm doing is just rolling the knife along the edge here and that will actually crease it so then that way you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers. All I'm doing is just rolling it, there we go, and then we can just peel that off. Alright, so it does have, I don't know if you can see that on the inside there, it does have a um, little seal and on mine, on my caulk gun has a little piece on the side that I can poke it with or you can use the tip and just reach down in there and poke it. Hopefully that goes all the way through. If you cut it even lower, way down here, um, this will actually puncture it no problem. And I see that didn't puncture it, so we use the old scissors. And just reach down in there and give it a few punctures so we get all that stuff out of there. There we go. And as you can see, I got it out of there. Save that, get the little paper paper towels, <clears throat> wipe that off. All right, so those are done. And you can pick up, this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a, a decent caulk gun that I have for work, but they sell cheap ones at Walmart for like $2 or $3. You can use one of those if you don't already have one. So, so far, we are into $4 tube of caulk, and let's say a $3 um, caulk gun which you're going to reuse over and over again. Water of course is free, not totally free, we all have water bills but alright so it said that I have to put um, a bunch of this in here enough to <coughs> excuse me enough to make it um, enough to make this like really slimy and then some of the videos I was watching they said that too much soap in here will cause the mold not to cure which I don't know if that's true or not, but we're not going to go really heavy on the the dish soap. We're going to put a little bit in just to get it a slimy feel, um, and then if we need to add more, um, we can add more. It's always easier to add a little bit more than it is if you put too much in there, then I don't think the, the silicone will dry. So we'll just put in, I'm not going to put a whole bunch in. That should be enough. And we'll keep that right there, and we'll get our little favorite surprise spinners get those open I mean for a buck 
what I'm looking at is actually not the top part. Ooh, look a little smiley face. What I'm looking at is this part here. I think that would make a really cool mold, almost like a Petri dish, but with some patterns. Now it does have writing on it. Um, I suppose if you're real picky on it, you could probably sand that off, but we'll get one of those out. And then I'm just gonna mix this up. This water's like room temperature, so it's about, oh, I don't know, 65 degrees in here. I keep my house kind of chilly. All right, so it is pretty slimy. All righty, and then I will get my mat, <coughs> excuse me, my mat ready. And then all I'm gonna do is just, I don't know how much to put in there, I'll say four good squirts. Get that off of there. You can see it's floating, so I don't know if that means anything. And then I'll just clean that off real quick so it doesn't go everywhere, because caulking is really sticky, so it will go everywhere. All right, so the trick is here, too, is to get your hands with some soap on them so it doesn't stick to your hands. And then all I'm gonna do just move it around in the soap. As you can see, it's really, it's kind of sticky. It's sticking to my hands. So I'll get it in there. As you can see, it's really sticking on my hands good. So I'm thinking, if it's gonna stick like that, I'm gonna have to get more soap in there. But let's work it this way first. Pretty slimy. Let's see if we can get some of that off of there. Now the whole idea is we're trying to force the silicone to dry quickly, and I don't want to overdo the soap. So we're looking at, it's about 1240 right now in the afternoon, and it's still really sticky. So I'm thinking we need some more soap. But let's just keep playing with it. Roll it around in there. See if maybe that helps. So I only put about, I don't know, a quarter cup of soap in this. And this is just a old Tupperware thing that I had. Just get this all, just roll it around back and forth. And it's still pretty sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit more soap in. Get that swirled up. And it's not real slimy. But ew, is this fun. You could have your kids do this too. But don't uh, have them with this. As long as you have the soap on your hands, this should actually act as a barrier to your skin from the chemicals in the silicone. But if you're really worried about it, I would use nitro gloves, not latex. From the videos that I've seen, the latex, all it does is stick to the latex. So you have to use the, the nitro gloves. All right, just keep rolling it around here. See what happens. This is really fun though. It's just a matter of roll it around, roll it around. And so far I'm about a minute and a half in. I'm gonna go until I can actually feel it really start to set up. Now your working time after you get this out of the water isn't going to be very, you're only going to have a couple of minutes to make your mold. So make sure you have all the stuff ready. Yeah, see it's really still sticky. So let's keep working with it. I don't think there's really a formula. Maybe you could figure out a formula on exactly how much dish soap to water you need. But I like to start with just a little bit less and then work my way up to it. All I'm doing is just rolling it around, kind of squishing it. Just taking it out, squishing it a little bit, get some of that soap in there. Like I said, the whole idea is to try and get this to, to set up. And of course, I've got it all over my hands, so. So, did a quarter cup, about a quarter cup of Dawn. And I can feel the, it is pretty slimy in there. But I don't think, I don't think there's enough soap in there. Now, I don't want to go crazy on the soap because if there's too much soap in there, then it probably isn't going to set up. As you can see, it's still stuck to my hands. But it is starting to get a little stiffer. So let's put another little squirt. There we go. 
I'll swirl that around, try not to get it everywhere. You can use a bigger bucket too, that probably work. Oh, there we go. I can really feel that it's really slimy now. You see how it's really starting to come off my fingers? All right, so I think that's, I'm gonna say probably a little over a quarter cup. Now I can really feel it starting to really set up. See how it's not sticking to my fingers anymore? It's not sticking. So we'll work this for probably, I don't know, let's say probably 10 minutes. Just keep squishing it back and forth. And you want it to go until, from what I understand, I've, like I said, I've watched a whole bunch of videos on this and every one of them is different. So I thought I'd give you my version and tell you what worked for me and what didn't work. And this is just to make small molds. Once I get this figured out, then I'm gonna do another video on making like a mold box so that I can make uh, multiple molds for resin pours. I've kind of become, uh, I guess, infatuated by all the different things you can do with alcohol inks and pigments, because for me it's like art. <clears throat> it is art because you're using different colors and s still different things of the color wheel. So what we want is a consistency of like Play-Doh. We all remember what Play-Doh is like. Or what I should say for us older folks is if you remember Mr. Putty, we used to do the backwards thing, uh, put the Mr. Putty on the local newspaper and get the little uh, backwards writing, which was always fun. And that's kind of the consistencies I'm looking for. And right now it's like a really soft Play-Doh and it's still kind of sticking to me. So let's keep working it in there. And you can work it through and just squish it right in there with the water, the soapy water. Yeah, that looks like it's really starting to set up. But the, the whole thing is that from what I've watched, some people said it didn't set up for like um, all day it didn't work. And then some people said that it, it worked right away within like 25 minutes it was dry. So I think it's a matter of the water temperature, the amount of soap, and then actually how much you actually need this. So I'm doing is just dipping in the water and kind of knead it like a, a ball of dough and trying to get to that consistency of like a, a Play-Doh or a, a Mr. Putty. As you can see, it's still pretty slimy. It's almost like a taffy. As you see, it's still sticking. So put just a little bit more soap. Remember always, less is more in the beginning because we don't know exactly how much based on the water. All right, get that off my fingers. Just keep mixing it and mixing it. I'll put some background music if I haven't already in the video so you can watch along or maybe I'll just speed this section up. There we go. Yeah, see now it's starting to it's starting to stiffen up a little bit. And I want to make sure that it's already starting to set. We're about five minutes in now. I wonder if I just put it in the water and just squish it. Just squish the crap out of it in the water. Yeah, that seems to I should have put a towel down. Oh, still sticking to my fingers. That's not a good sign. All right, so now I'm just gonna start kneading it to see how it is, see if it sticks to me. Yep, still kind of sticking. Put it in the water and then knead it. Yeah, now I can, now I can really feel it starting to set up. Now it's starting to feel like a Mr. Putty. We had 60 degree weather out yesterday and then today it's about 58 and it's raining. So it's gonna be a yucky day all day today. All right, so now it's starting to really turn into, um, it's really starting to stiffen up. So we'll just keep working it. And I think the 10 minute mark is probably gonna be ideal. And don't keep adding more soap. Um, just like I did that last little squirt. I just want it so that my hands are kind of slick, but you don't want too much. And then just start kneading it like some dough. 
and dip it back in the water and just knead it. The whole idea, like I said, is just to get the silicone to actually start to uh, cure. And I think that's what the, the soap does, the Dawn dish detergent, it actually starts it in the curing process. So we'll try this. I'll take a little bit of soap and put it on there. So then that way we've got a little bit of slickness. So when it does dry, uh, it'll come off of there. Have that little film of soap on there. All right, now it's starting to turn into more of a putty. See, now it's starting into turning into like almost like a, a thick putty, a real thick taffy. So I'm just going to keep working that. I'm going to do a full 10 minutes and then that'll give us a kind of a ballpark on where we need to be. Just dip it in water. Kind of actually put it, like I said, you put it in the water and just squish it around. Squish it in there. I said I've got some on my fingers. That's all right, that'll wash right off. All right, get that nice and squished. We're at about eight minutes now. Okay, so, and I didn't know how much to put in there, but I have a pretty good sized ball of it. And you see it's not sticking to my hands at all, which is awesome. So you can roll it, there you go. See, it's like Play-Doh now which is perfect. I think that's what we need. One more minute. Hopefully you didn't hit the fast forward button. All right. So you wanna make sure that, I'll move this off to the side. Put this right here. Hopefully we're still in frame. Ooh, I hear thunder. Yay, spring is coming. Enough of this ice cold weather. All right, there we go. We're at about the, oh, I don't have a second hand on that clock. All right, so now we're at this consistency here, which is almost like um, a really thick taffy. So I'm just gonna squish this up. Now make sure that you get that wet and you wanna make sure you wet the item that you're gonna be putting in there. Get some of that soap on there. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with problems. All right, so that's nice and wet. This area is nice and wet. We're at the 10 minute mark, and now it actually is starting to set up. Now it is, you can see it's holding its form. It even gets, watch this. See how it gets my fingerprints in there, the creases from my hands? All right, so now I'm gonna roll this in a ball so we get a nice smooth, nice smooth edge. All right, I'll put this down. I don't want to go too far down otherwise, because we're going to have to push this down in there. And if you get it too thin, then this piece here is going to stick out of the bottom. We don't want that. So kind of make a nice little dome. And then get your smiley face. All I'm going to do is just push this down in there. Actually. I think I'm going to, look at that. I think I'm going to separate this into two because I should be able to make two of them. All right, so we got two of them. Let's get another one out. Make sure that's nice and wet. Yeah, it's starting to set up good now. Make sure I got the right sizes. All right. So we'll put that there. See how slippery that is? We want that so it'll make it easier to make the take the mold off. I'm just gonna push that down. I'm not gonna push way down in there because if you do, like I said, that piece is gonna go all the way through and we don't want that. We want a nice thick bottom. So I'll push that down and then all I'm gonna do is just kind of push it up on the sides, kind of make my mold. There we go. I'm pretty good. Just want to 
bring that side up a little bit. You can squish it too. Make sure that side is up there. And if you want, you can take a little bit of the little bit of the soapy water and just go around the edge, kind of smooth it out. All right. That's in there. All right, we'll move him aside. Yeah, you can feel it setting up. It almost feels like rubber now. And they said that if you're doing it this way, it should be dry. Let's move that up on the side. It should be dry in about 30 minutes, if, if I did it right. Yeah, you can see how it's starting to pull away from it. All right, so we'll just push that one down. Maybe we can take that out. Take that out. See if we can do this. Put it back in the water. Get a nice little ball. Maybe salvage it a little bit. And push it right back down in there. There. Yeah, you don't have much of a window. I can feel it already turning into rubber. So I have a feeling this is going to work. So hopefully this helps you. And if it does help you, and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Give me the big thumbs up. Let me know you like it. And then leave something in the comments. Let me know if you found this video useful or if it was a waste of time. And I'll put a little background music, I'm sure. There. All right, we got two little happy faces. This one should be good. And then we'll take a little bit of this and try and smooth this out. As you can see, it's starting to set up. Maybe I waited just a little too long. But all I'm going to do is use these as like a, a Petri dish for my resin pour. So that side there, let's see if we can squish that over there. There we go. Kind of set that in there. Hopefully I didn't go too deep. I just want that little edge to be up there so then that way when I pour the resin I don't have to worry about it overflowing. I can always trim this top off I'm sure. A little bit of soapy water. And make sure you save your soapy water because if you're going to do multiple multiple molds um, now you know exactly what what thickness or not thickness but what consistency you need the, the soap and water at. So, oh it's raining good now. And this little part here I can trim off, so all I'm doing is just really lightly using some soapy water. And we got one with his tongue out. So I'll be back, we'll let them dry. All right, so I'm back. I put a fan on these, it's been an hour and a half, about an hour and a half. And I put a fan on these uh, because the sides still seem pretty tacky and they're really shiny as you can see um, There's quite a gloss to it Not really sure uh, some of the other videos I watched maybe it has something to do with the water temperature or the amount of soap um, But it's going to take a little while to try and figure out the exact combination, but They're not sticky anymore um, they're just a little tacky. This one is just a little tacky, almost like a rubber. Yeah, see, I put, put a hole through there. That's why I said not to push it down too far. So I'm going to have to put a little bit of silicone on the bottom of that um, and then let it dry. I'll wipe this off really good. Yeah, it's still kind of still kind of sticky. I put some new or some paper towels down because of the it was leaking through and kind of my table here is my work table for my table saw. But yeah, it's still still pretty pliable. But we'll go ahead. Like I said, it's about an hour and a half or so, and I put a fan on them. I'm wondering if I could use a hair dryer, but I'm just going to very gently try and peel this off. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Out it comes. Just very gently peel that off. And 
and look at that. I must not have pushed it down hard enough because I did get just a little bit of, um, it didn't follow the crease of it. So maybe I have to make these like taller before I push it down. But I'm sure if I didn't have this little tip on there, it'd be fine. Uh, pretty shiny. Yeah, and it's, it's flexible. Looks like it's dry. Nice and shiny. So that's one. Yep. Yeah. I'll just flip that over and I'll put a fan back on them to make sure that they're fully cured. I'll let them sit overnight um, before I pour resin in them. But then I'll do another video of them with the resin poured in. I'll make a couple of more molds. And this one will, this is why I said to use that, um, use the soapy water on there and get that off of there. Let's see if this one, oh, this one didn't really go through. So, we'll just peel this off. Just gently peel it back, and it falls right out. Look at that. Again, I didn't get it perfectly smooth in there. Maybe when I put it, pushed it down, I should have kind of twirled it or something, or maybe put a little bit of silicone on here. Uh, but I think it didn't, it didn't take really well to that. Yeah, it's a little thin right in the center there. But I think that'll be okay. But these are just for practice to see if it would work. And sure enough, it did work. Except for these little areas here. Must have been an air bubble or something that I had in there. Maybe I should start smushing them down a little more. You know, get that air trapped out of it. Yeah, it works. So there you have it. How to make your own molds. There's like uh, two, four, six, eight, like eight of these little tops. Yeehaw! And the kids can play with them when they're done, or you can reuse them. But you got a dollar for the tops, 97 cents for this little placemat, a dollar for the Dawn dish detergent, and then hopefully you'll have a caulking gun, otherwise that's like three dollars, and then three dollar or four dollars for the tube of caulking. So you got maybe five, six, seven, eight dollars, and that's it. And I still have like three quarters of this left. So maybe next, the next set I do, um, I'm going to do another video in using uh, ping pong balls. And I'm going to use my Dremel, and I'm going to cut them in half. Let me find where my Dremel is. Just bear with me real quick. I have a Dremel kit that I use for woodworking projects. It's probably messy in there, but just a Dremel kit. And then they have little cutoff wheels. Where'd that other piece go? Oh, I got stuff all over the place here. Um, I have a set somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but I have a set that actually has a whole bunch of cutoff wheels. Let me see if I can find those ping pong balls. I think I put them right here. There they are. Oh yeah, and I'll show you some other stuff I got. So we'll get the Dremel out of the way. I'll do another video on this. See how that like warped my table right here? This is MDF board, so I'm gonna have to sand this back down so it's flat and then seal it. Um, but that's uh, for my woodworking stuff. But yeah, I got some ping pong balls. And then all I'm gonna do, whoop, now they're coming everywhere. I figure if not, the cat would like to play with them or if you got cats or dogs. Is right on this seam right here, I'm gonna take my Dremel and just very carefully cut that. And when you split it in half, now you have two uh, things that you can use to make molds. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to use more, more caulking to uh, get the mold deep enough, but these would make perfect little Petri dishes to do samples with. So that'll be my next mold that I'm gonna make. Let me know if you wanna see that video on how I do that and I'll make a video on that. But um, yeah, ping pong balls. Uh, two, four, six of them for a dollar. dollar. Dollar tree ping pong balls. And then these, I found these are um, little uh, art for your like paints and stuff. And I didn't realize that these are a buck and I bought these and look, 
there's six of them in there. So I bought two packs thinking there was only one. But there's two packs. So this is another idea for Petri dishes. And look how small they are. And they are flexible. So you could very easily just push them and put a little bit of silicone in there or some soapy water and then wipe it out really good or some mold release, wipe it out really good and then you can have these as little Petri dishes. And there's six of them, so you can make a whole bunch. And if you have mold stuff and you like making these, very simply you can make your mold, put these down in there and push them down till it's flat and then you can make multiple all in one pour. So I thought for a buck, I get six of them, that's a deal. So there's lots of stuff that you can find. Just go walk around Dollar Tree or Dollar General and just find some like little cool stuff to do experiments with. But so far, we have the molds work. Like I said, this one here, I'll have to put something right there. I could probably put a little piece of tape right there, a little piece of scotch tape, and that would stop it from coming through. But I'm going to let these dry overnight before I pour in them. And then... Uh, do a pour in them and see how it works. I'll do a video on that after I make a couple more molds. All right. Thanks for watching.